So a very large population of Americans has diabetes, whether it be type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Um, and an estimated 30 million people struggle with diabetes in America. That's based on CDC's results. Um, 7.1 of those 30 million have type 1 diabetes, which is completely reliant on insulin. Type 1 diabetes is when your body does not create insulin at all. Um, and insulin is required for your body to work properly. Diabetes is a serious disease. Um, insulin is essential to process glucose. Um, it's kind of like a cellular key, so it allows glucose to enter into the cells, and without it, obviously, the glucose just remains free. Insulin is essential for the body to process glucose. Um, without insulin, the body starts forming ketones. Um, this makes the body acidic. Uh, eventually, the body will go into DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis. Um, this is information from Diabetes Voice. Uh, DKA uh, is a horrible condition. It can lead to the person having rapid breathing, which is when your body's trying to breathe off the acids and self-correct. But obviously, it's not going to do that. Be able to do that through just that one buffer. Um, it can also lead to vomiting and dehydration. Uh, becomes life-threatening pretty quickly without any interventions. Um, as a paramedic, we've seen a lot of people in DK, uh, and it can actually lead to a person going into a coma. Um, at that point, it's uh, it's very life threatening. Again, that information is from Diabetes Voice. Um, insulin is super super expensive, uh, so because of this, many Americans have started crossing borders. Um, if they live close to Mexico or Canada, they will take a day trip or sometimes several day trip across the border into these other countries. Um, and these other countries have a lower cost of insulin. Um, Canada and Mexico obviously are the closest countries that we can actually drive to. Um, they've become hot spots for Americans needing inexpensive insulin. Um, especially Americans that don't have insurance, health insurance, because our country is a country that makes you often pay high premiums for health insurance, and even with that health insurance, sometimes your insulin won't be covered fully. Um, Canada has made laws capping the price of insulin. Mexico often has drugs that are prescription in the U.S. Um, they are actually over-the-counter in Mexico, so this makes them a lot cheaper. Um, this information is from, di from Diabetes Voice as well. Um, so yeah, again, many families in the U.S. that have insurance, have di high deductibles, um, and have high co-pays for their medication. Um, often, insulin can cost around $700 a month, which is absolutely insane. It's very expensive for families of average income. Imagine you paying that much. Uh, so yeah, that's my body of the speech.